we learned about inheritance hierarchy we also learned that every class in java is ultimately subclass of object class in java so any class instance can be passed around as instance of object class but while developing common or reusable routines many times you may want to know the exact type of the object instance of operator can be used to detect the type of the object reference variable it can be used to detect the class type as well as interface type we will be studying the interfaces little later now here is an example let's say you are writing a function where you receive an object of customer type as parameter of course one can send instance of any of the subclasses of the class customer you want to take action depending on which type of customer it is let's say you want to print a customized welcome message then you can use instance of operator to detect the type using instance of operator you can check if the object is of type silver customer or gold customer or platinum customer so you can put a conditional statement and give welcome message depending on the type of the customer this type detection is done at the run time note that these types of customers were subclasses of base class customer you cannot use instance of operator to test the type of object across different class hierarchies for example if for a variable of type customer if i try to use instance of operator to detect whether it's a account or invoice then it will generate error here compiler can trap this situation and give error compiler comes to know that the type we are trying to check say account is not part of the class hierarchy of the object customer hence it generates compilation error we are inside the eclipse environment in this demo we will learn about functionality provided by the object class especially for checking the equality of objects also we will learn how to use the instance of operator let us continue with the inheritance project here we have created two classes namely contractor and hourly emp in the earlier hands on session contractor is a subclass of employee and hourly emp is a subclass of contractor let us understand which methods of the object class are available to the hourly emp class so here i have opened it let's go to the main method here we are already creating instance of the hourly emp using hourly emp emp equal to new hourly emp let me remove these two lines which we had written earlier and let's see which all methods are available to the emp object now here we see a number of methods derived from all the class hierarchy let's focus on the methods provided by the object class so here are some of the methods clone equals finalize hash code notify notify all to string wait there are number of wait methods etc out of these we are going to learn about the equals method and to string method in this hands on session equals method is used to compare two objects so we need to create two objects here we have already created one object let's create one more object so we create the second object like this our emp emp2 equal to 
new hourly emp let us also initialize their names so emp dot emp name equal to sam and emp2 dot emp name is equal to sam now let's use if statement to compare them if emp dot equals emp2 then we'll give a message that those two objects are equal otherwise we will give a message they are not equal so emp concatenated with a string not equal to and then concatenated with the second object emp2 so with this much of code let's execute and check the results